Hi kids, today we're going to do the bubble trouble science experiment. But first, I did want to just mention that I hope you're participating in Pottstown Library's virtual programming. And if you are, I'm going to mark off on my paper today things that I've done. I've brought off a bunch of reading. It's like read for 20 minutes. There's a bunch of them on there. Look for an itsy bitsy spider was one. I did that when I went on a nature walk. And go on a virtual field trip I did because I did the volcano virtual field trip through playground. And I'm also going to do the zoo one. And let's see what else. There's a bunch of read for 20 minutes. Build a castle from cardboard would be a cool one. But anyway, I hope you're participating. Mark off your things and you, it's all virtual. You can request books online through the library and you can pick them up at the back door. Um, you aren't able to go in and browse, but then you can also earn rewards by marking off the things and turning in your paper. Um, so check out their website. And now on to the bubble trouble. Okay. trouble. You need so that's a baby food jar, but I'm going to use this plastic cup and I'm going to put it in a little tray so we don't make a mess. So the question of the day is what happens when you add salt to a soda drink? So place the jar in the little tray. That's my soda opening. Fill the container halfway with soda. It's about halfway. Okay, add a few drops of food coloring. I'm going to use red. And then Soda, food coloring. What do we think is going to happen when we add some salt? Interesting. Let's see. Any guesses? Then we're going to add some salt to see what happens. So you can see you have the soda and the food coloring and when you add salt it makes it foam. So what does that mean? Why does it do that? It makes your foams because the salt pushes the carbon dioxide gas bubbles that are in the soda to the surface. So the soda has bubbles and that's carbon dioxide and when you add the salt it pushes the bubbles to the surface. It's called effervescence. So interesting. I used Sprite, but I don't know. Maybe you could try the experiment with a different kind of soda and see if that makes a difference. Like diet versus regular or Coke versus Sprite. That's what science is all about. Asking questions, trying different things. And that's how you learn. All right, guys, have fun.